MRT had just released their police cars in a new update. And of course, I had to give them a shot and put them in a head-to-head -head against each other. So we decided to do a little bit of a series of challenges between the robbers and the cops, in which we'd see which officer could drive the car and lead them to glory. Every single car was stuck and we managed to kill a lot of people by doing a lot of police brutality. So this is the video. Enjoy. It's pretty good map. There's a lot of corners you can take at. For the first challenge, we find ourselves in classic Tokyo, where there have been reports of two suspects driving vehicles at very high speeds. And whoever catches them will get some points added to the total. So the whole police force was going to be out on patrol to find the suspects and eliminate them. Oh, do we, do we start or do we start? Yeah. Now, the two suspects were in some very fast territories, out of which were the Lotus Carton and the Ferrari Testarossa. So every single police officer tried to come up with ways to catch them before somebody else got the kill. The first to go was the Ferrari Testarossa, driven by Draco Arcus. However, the driver of the carton was too fast to catch for either of the cars. So, we came up with a little plan. Wait, Thank wait, you. come to the bridge. I don't know where that is. Just keep driving, you'll see a bridge. I have an idea. Come on, come up here, I guess. You can get a survive. Teleport around with your boats. Okay, here, red. Oh. Okay, so, okay, somebody chase after him and somebody stay here with him. Or go up in front, actually. We didn't know if this plan was going to work, but it would be better than trying to catch him out in the streets. Yeah, but look at this. With the clock taken down, we had to set up our roadblock and be ready in case the suspect got away. <laughs> oh <my laughs> brutality. Bro has a machine gun! What the hell do you mean? <laughs> you give me three of them. <laughs> Yo, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> We got him! <laughs> I won! Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> He got oh. shot! He got lit up! Oh my. <laughs> now, the suspect in the Lotus Carton was killed by Redulus yet again. So, for this challenge, Redulus got the maximum amount of points by killing both drivers in the Ferrari Testarossa and the Carton. So, with the conclusion of this challenge, the first place on the table was Redulus, with 12 points by killing both drivers in the carton and the testosterone. Every single other driver is tied for second with zero points. And that's gonna be our points total for the first challenge. Our second challenge was now in New Tokyo, where we'd use two rubber cars to set a benchmark for these cars around the New Tokyo DP track. Of course, the cars used were the Toyota Tessa and the Ferrari Testarossa. With the hot lads starting, it was time to get serious. So, of course, the Testarossa and the Altesa are pretty different cars. In this case, the Altesa is a matched out version of itself, while the Testarossa is a stock version driven by Draco. The issue is the drivers in this case. The Toyota Altesa managed to get a 124 on the top while Draco only managed to push the Ferrari to a 123 sets, which means that the benchmarks were quite close and it would be hard getting past the Altesa but easy getting past the Tessa Rosa if you beat the Altesa. Now it was the turn of the policeman. Nobody wanted to go first but at the end of the day everybody had two chances and they tried to make the most of it. However, driving skill became a very important aspect of this challenge, since many cars didn't reach their true potential due to who was driving each car. For example, the R34 driven by Hellhound 
the driver did not know the track. So of course, the car placed 5th to last, getting beaten by the 240C and the Mach 1 by multiple seconds. Antonio the highest came in last, while the NSX came in second with a 180. The fastest time of the whole event was the 115 set by Red Dulus in his Subaru Impreza. Now, with the conclusion of this event, the STI is still ranked first with, nine, with 16 points. Afterwards came the NSX with 9 points, then the Mach 1 with 6 points, the 240C with 3, R24 with 2, and the highest with 1. Meanwhile, the only cars to beat the Altesa benchmark were the Mach 1, the N1, and the Impreza. And the only ones to beat the Testarossa benchmark were the STI and the NSX. <laughs> okay, we've arrived at the final challenge at New Tokyo yet again. This time, the robbers have a task to complete. They will need to steal from four places, being the tuning shop, the parking lot, the tech jump building, and this restaurant by spawn and escape to the main bridge before the police kill them all. Now, every single policeman is out for blood, and these robbers are going to have to escape and avoid them while they're at it. So, we started the round. The police are off and looking for the targets. It's going to be a really tough challenge for the robbers. Especially since they're in the Taiwan Altesa. The Altesa at first tried to play it sneaky. Just go around the map and hope nobody sees you. But that didn't last long. Now, with all the police being able to communicate to each other, the Altesa had to make a run for it, while an R34 and the NSX were hot on their trails. The Altesa managed to lose them for a few seconds by pulling the stunt. However, they quickly get spotted by the Nissan 240C. And of course, the parallels came back once again. Left, left. Left again, left again, left. Oh my god, they're catching up. Outspeed them, outspeed them. The Altesa was going to have to do something desperately if he wanted to survive and complete the challenge. Oh, and more. Okay, keep going, keep going. Breaks, take, take, take. Left, 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 left. Fast, 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 fast. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Still no contact. Still at still port. Still at port. With the Altesa having been able to evade most of the gods, he bought himself some time to continue to escape. Now, each passenger killed counts as 6 points for everybody, so it is vital for the cops to actually kill some of the passengers before the drivers. Any order, any order actually. Oh! No! That's one point! Hey! We got one! Oh, that's me! Oh, that's me! You killed me! So, it turns out that they had apparently killed me. So now, with only two passengers in the car, there were only 12 points available to the policeman. Draco, go for the third objective. Go for the third objective. At this point, the driver was nervous. He was trying to escape, but he was making too many mistakes. Go for the sushi, go for the sushi restaurant. However, he got a lifeline from his teammate. Drago accidentally jumped out of the car and tried to make a run for it. On foot. However, that did not last long. And Draco was no more. Now, 
With the lifeline being offered, the Altesa managed to get away and put in some distance between himself and the policeman. And he actually managed to make it to one of the targets of the rob. Do we get to know what the fourth objective was now that it's been stolen? And with the target rod, the Altesa has to make a run for it, as every secret policeman has been informed of his position. And yet again, with the road running out, the Altesa will need to do something special if it truly really wants to survive in this case. Burrito, you need to break by the way, turn around. Like, for real, turn around. No, no, no. There, that's good, that's good. And Burrito managed to do it. With Burrito having juked out red, he was now in the clear to try to make it back to the city without one of the faster cops chasing them. Right, 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 right. I don't have. Go for the, go for the third object. Go! Uh, they turned right somewhere down here, so keep going. Yeah, I see him, I see next him. one, next one, next one. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay. I see you, I see you, I see you. Now, the biggest issue that the Altesa had was every single policeman being able to know his location if he did not manage to escape. Since he was being chased all the time, he was not able to get to any single points. Now, the Odessa only has one place robbed. He has to rob four of them. So for now, he's not able to complete the challenge. There's only six points available at this point, and that's to whoever manages to kill the driver of the Altesa. <laughs> Now, the Altesa driver made a mistake. He's left that gold label. He's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. Oh no. That's, that's... <laughs> I got him. I got him. And that was the end of the run. Alright, so... We have managed to see and complete the challenge to see which car was the best in terms of being able to do police jobs. Now, in first place came in Redilus with his Subaru Impreza, getting a total of 26 points. Thanks to the last two kills that the 240C had in the last uh, event, he managed to get a score of 15. And the NSX got a score of 9. The Mac 1 finishing 6th and the R34 in 5th. Highest was obviously the worst.